Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm going to do another video on my maps. Now one of my early videos was on my maps and integrating how different some of the different ways you can integrate a my map into OneNote. Um, they were quite basic, quite simple, and it's actually one of the more popular videos we've had. So I thought I might show you a couple of the more things you can do in creating a my map to integrate some more of the tools and features of OneNote to really create, I guess, what's more of an advanced mind map than the example that I showed in the first video. So this is where we're starting off. Um, and I started off the last video in the example of a mind map, um, essentially a blank canvas. So I've created this smart art personal finance topic in the middle, and then the kids were gonna go in and you know start to tell me some of the different things they know about personal finance. Here is the example I showed in the last video. And like I said, it's quite basic. It's literally just using um, a bit of text, bit of table, bit of highlight, and some arrows to show some of the different topics and some of the different connections between them. But if you want to really build on that, um, I've created more of an advanced mind map, uh, and it looks a bit like this. Okay, so it looks a little bit different to the last one, but it is essentially around the exact same topic and the same information. So if I start to zoom out a little bit, you can see but this is really starting to build. And if I maybe move myself over to the other side over here, you can really see the whole mind map now. So what I've done essentially is just started to integrate some of the different features within OneNote. So you can see I've got um, some images in there. I've got some, there's a couple of links in there to websites. I've embedded a couple of YouTube videos in there. So I've really started to, um, build on um, some of the different features that you can use in one to create a really cool uh, mind map. Now this did take me probably nearly an hour to do. <laughs> um, so I went to the extra effort of creating this for you guys to show you some of the different things you can, but you can see still got my personal finance smart art in the middle. From there, you can see some of the different topics and very clearly identifying some of the different links between the topics, okay? So I'm using um, up the top here, my different um, tags up the top here, and we're using the link um, in order to show any connections between different topics. I've also used you know, some of my um, tags to do some, you know, a bit of a to-do list as well with some of my listing. Creating my arrows, which I used obviously just using insert and doing a combination of different arrows to make a move around integrating um, some of the images from some of the content throughout the unit. So these are just some of the um, smart art things or examples of budgets that are created. This is an example, this will take you to a website for a budget planner from a moneysmart.gov and very much showing some of the different connections between all of these things. Okay, you can see I've embedded a YouTube video there. I literally copied and pasted in the link and dropping it in using tables, um, a few more YouTube videos, things like that, another link to a website, and even dropping in an MP3 um, that talks about credit card debt in a podcast. So you can see um, visually, obviously, it looks really nice and really cool, but starting to integrate a lot more features of OneNote to really create something really cool, okay? and. Obviously, you know, by using this zoom in and zoom out, you can really hone in and focus on a certain topic. And then for the students, as they're creating this, or maybe you create it for them, if it's for a bit of a study tool, they can really start to see some of the specific connections between different topics and how some of them are interrelated. Now, a lot of these topics um, do have more connections than I've even shown here. I was trying to keep it neat and tidy, but I could obviously do a whole lot more arrows to show a lot of ways that different topics are integrated with others, all right? So there is an example of um, what I call, I guess, an advanced mind map um, by adding in a few more features, a bit more color, a bit more infographs, videos, links, um, using your tags and arrows and that sort of stuff. So that's it for me today. Ciao.